Are you on the page? Yeah, we, we're live now. Uh, yeah, just picking up numbers. Okay. How's been your day? It's been good, up and down and stuff, just working. Up and down, yeah, up and down, yeah, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down on the social media streets. Not on the life of actually working, like <laughs> in Zimbabwe, they have to act like hard to really hard, so like you're all over the place and stuff. Yeah, well, I've been up and down on the social media streets, and I'm not ashamed to say I've been. And I've been on this platform, I've been on that platform, I've been on everybody's platform, and there is a lot of tea that's being spilt on social media, especially and today. It's a day of tea, the tea, right? Yeah, my one. This past week, it started off with the whole Mudiwa and um, Angelica Mudiwa, saga. Yeah. Yeah, did you did you catch that? I did. I, I caught it from from the first of April when then she pulled that joke that is a it's an April Fool's Day. It it wasn't a joke. Apparently, um, <laughs> apparently from my sources, we've got the ears on the streets. They're telling me that she did that to prove a point, just to show the guy that listen, I can destroy your image if if I want to. So she posted yeah. that. Yeah, she, she posted true. that deliberately. So I, I, need, I need for you to hold that thought. Um, uh, how are our numbers so that you know, like, to officially start? Um, we've, got one point, we've got 1.2K people watching at the moment. That are so like, we can start. Yeah, <laughs> we can. We, we can absolutely start. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining This is a show that you... Uh, be on your screens, on your phones, on your laptops every Thursday from 8 p.m. Apologies for the delay today. And uh, it is a show sponsored by 1242 Hairball Solutions. And just to talk about 1242 Hairball Solutions, uh, they give you different courses for your sex drive, your sex drive course uh, for both male and females, your penis enlargement course. Hello, gents. And uh, your long-lasting course, two minutes. Are you there? And also a warm body course for women, uh, breast and bum course. You can visit them at uh, 48 Kenneth Kawunda Avenue, Vanguard House, opposite NRZ, close to Muhammad Musa Suit 216. And you can also call them on 0776-935-202 or 0777-297559. So it is a sponsored show. It's called Wine O'Clock. Brought to you by Two Hebel Solutions. I'm B Candy, my Lamin Candy Cake. And of course, the hot, the hot, hot, hot. Olinda Chapel, introduce yourself. <laughs> I didn't need it. Do I need an introduction? <laughs> I'm here, but I'm not here. For the sake of this show, I will call myself Nyari. Nyari Ndiani Makoa. Nyari Ndiani Nagosi. So, Olinda Chapel is the businesswoman. Chi chi chi, you know. I know they care about Papa and they should be married. Man, Janda Maku. It's like I'll allow you to tell people what this show is about before we get into the detail of our stories today. Okay, well, what we're basically going to be doing is we will pick hot topics of what's happened in the last week in the entertainment industry on social media. And we will dissect it and just give a, a different opinion to to how we see things, you know. Um, and also, we will also be giving you the hottest gossip. It doesn't get times go from our sources in the streets that have got their ears everywhere. So let's get straight into it. You can hashtag it's the hottest gossip show. It's very important. Let's, let's <laughs> it's very important. Very, very important. Okay. If you have a, so, like a book at home, you can also like pour your wine and you talk, right? So let's start. There is a story yeah, uh, that during the rounds. It was also on the front page of H Metro, the Modiwa story. But then, as I was saying, this story initially uh, started on the first of April when Modiwa's ex-wife or wife then uh, posted on her Instagram that he was cheating on her and that she's done and that she's fighting for divorce 
And she later, I later one said, oh, no, no, it's just an April a Fool's Day joke. Because, but then it was not making sense because she only posted on, I think it was like two days after the 1st of April. So, yeah. Well, according to my sources, what I've been told, it was not an April Fool's Day joke. Um, my sources are telling me the girl did it as a way of threatening Mdiwa, basically to say, listen, you claim to have such a clean, clean image. I can destroy you just like that if I wanted to. That's why she posted, it was a post and delete. She posted that just to prove a point and quickly deleted. And then obviously because screenshots, what not, what not, damage control conveniently being the 1st of April, it was April Fool's Day. But then this past week, we, we found out a lot of information was coming out left, right and center in regards to their relationship breaking up. I'm an advocate for marriage. I, I mean, people should stay married. I would love for everybody to stay married. But what yeah. really caught my attention, what as a woman didn't sit too well with me was the fact that, um, you know, if we were cheated, bang out of order, you don't do that. Um, but what concerned me the most was these rumors that were coming out. And these are now confirmed rumors that she left her son when he was only two months old. For me, I, I just, it doesn't sit well. What woman, you know, lives behind a two month old baby and goes off? So she went back to the, I think she's based in the UK or something. She um, came back to the United Kingdom. Word was that she was fixing her papers or something, but then she left the child when he was only two months with the mm -hmm. intention of coming back. But maybe, like, would you not think from a corona and Roya but since there was this whole lockdown, uh, because I think she left around Feb or something, don't even, you think? Even with the, with the intentions of uh, coming back, right? Mwana ane two months for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. You, you cannot even leave the house for more than six hours and leaving your two-month-old baby being attended to. I don't know, maybe Chachi Slay Queen Chanasi, you know? You just don't do that. Being a mother, to uh, your baby needs you, you know? You know better. You know, as a mom, you have got more instincts in regards to why is he cooing this way? That this type of coo means he's uncomfortable because of A, B, C, and D. Uno siya mana. To a first-time father, like Mudi was a first-time dad. I don't know him having but you leave Mwanani two months with a first-time dad, and what do you I mean? Who are you expecting to be looking after your child? To me, it Could, just um no, I don't think I, I I I totally agree with you. Like as a mom, it's important because of the motherly instincts that you talk about, which you cannot leave your 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 child. Men do that, but then for women, because of the maternal instinct, it's difficult. But then, going back further, um, I would also want to know if her accusations are legit, Putty, did, was he cheating on her? As um, she was saying before, Putty, maybe he was cheating, but then still that's not um, a thing that, that for... Is, you know, cheating, cheating, cheating or anybody's whatever's, um, you know, she... Zaninga cheetah does not does not justify a mother leaving their child because I, I, I know of some kids that have grown up Vasinanamai and their mothers are alive, like they they've got now, abandonment issues that are there. You know, kids will never be able to understand Kuti, even you know, like there's a lot of a lot of women that are now based in the United Kingdom who at some point had left their kids. Ku Zimbabwe, right? I remember, mm. I, I remember this very clearly because I can testify. It's something that happened when, when I lived in, in, in Zimbabwe. I went and I had Sean in Zimbabwe, right? Yeah. I came and I lived with my son in this country. Then at some point, childcare became difficult for me. I took him to Zimbabwe to stay with my mom, and this is one person that I would trust with any of my kids, all of my kids, mm. to look after them. Ndakano si amana one year two years with the maid and everything but up until today my child asks me but 
they don't understand the fact that you're out here trying to make a better life for yourself so some of these questions are questions that as a parent you might have to answer at some point because now with angelica's issue it no longer looks like um you know the corona the is what yeah it looks like mwana because there are these allegations of of cheating so and even the, if it, like the the child she, her mom is not based here as well is a family based here like angelica's family I, so I it's only one after they might think uh i, I, I was also really know. happy with the side as well like um what made it to leave her two uh two month old son with the dad or with the uh, mom-in-law considering that she was you know wanting to separate from Rudiwa, is she yeah. coming back what's really happening like i really want to get like her side of the story because she seems so bitter from from a post she was saying don't post our child you're forcing me to even post our pictures our pregnancy pictures yet i did not want that so that's a lot she of cle she's and clearly stuff. she's clearly angry at Mudiwa yeah. for something she is clearly upset about something but listen if you're going to be making such accusations of cheating it's also we believe in receipts like bring out your receipts bring out your evidence back up everything because you you cannot look like a headless chicken continuously making these accusations but it's word of mouth you know to a point whereby it's my understanding from um mudiwa's public statement that he is now suing her for defamation of character and it's really sad when when you know such a young couple now have to be dragging each other to courts over posts on social media of it's very damaging and i speak from experience it's very damaging to the children and at some point they're going to have to see some of this stuff um and there'll be a lot of questions but <sighs> like because i also remember like your story people did not know that there was actually like a valid reason for your anger that there was something going on but i also want him to speak out as to what's really going on why is she so angry because she cannot just wake up and want to divorce if there is no you know like something solid or tangible to say like i'm done with this guy what yeah. is her. so angry okay. and the, 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 no, tea, the, the tea that i have from the streets from people around them or close to them um from the get-go the relationship was really really um it seems as if the picture that's being portrayed uh is that angelica had uh trust issues with mudiwa from the get-go mudiwa no. was not allowed to have pictures taken with fans because they were misconstrued as something else. Um, mm. The woman had to go through all his social media to double, triple, and quadruple check who he was talking to. Um, there were issues of, of just so many things, so many things that, it, but it seems as if, if he wanted to come out and talk about the things that she has um, done, in the past it might actually be more damaging to her but what he seems to be doing uh, because from the sources i was like but how come he's not speaking up and yet she's throwing all these yeah. allegations cassie's got something to hide but it seems as if he's actually being very protective to the mother of his child despite the tantrums and the toys that she's throwing out of her her pram he's actually choosing not to say anything because he respects the fact that so i'm not going to say any bad things towards her or or wish her any animosity or anything but yeah which can, which can be which we can assume to be like a guilty conscience sometimes if someone is not saying anything uh, exactly yeah. i love yeah, thinking <laughs> Maybe German, you know, his side of the story. You bring receipts. You bring receipts. So there's a possibility that maybe the reason why he is not talking it's because her accusations are actually 
valid accusations or she's got some mm -hmm. type of evidence or something. We don't know. But like I said, this is just tea on the streets. Like diary of a mad black of a colored woman. <laughs> ah, managa. That, that's the thing. You need to realize who you're talking to. Are you talking to Olinda? Can I do tell him a kid? Where's an kid that's a mango? It's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different. I like game. that. Like how far is it? Like um, an issue of esteem of ego, or just like they cannot, you know, control their temper, like a short fuse. Is Not it the blood? blood? No, 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 no. It's 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 a myth. It's folktale. There, there's nothing like that. It's it's just some folk story that has evolved over time. We we reason just like everybody else. We are just, you know. But sad thing is Mudiwa and Angelica were such a cute couple. They looked so hot together and them breaking up. I'm just thinking, you guys look so picture perfect. Um, all these cute couples on social media, like our social media couples, they are ending up like you know just discouraging the beautiful love story because i was just maybe from the get go do you think we're trying to get by just like no 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 problem yeah Susan you know Maybe that's the pool they yeah. need to be shopping in. Uh, because the must like when you guys, guys, Munongo and Panama post and delete and inga chingo it come threats and inga chingo it come to must like when Papa internet up and they no longer is that, um, Tingari Chivo, Chire Mere and Achiribo, you know. And it seems as if these guys are no longer shopping for women for, for the right reasons. It's do they look okay. good in pictures? Do they look good on Instagram? Do they look good? They've stopped valuing vakadzi chayvo chayvo vekuti. Even you know, like a lot, a lot of women, a lot, a lot of women are very, very beautiful. You know, but yeah. some women are never given the opportunity because when I go to Zimbabwe, baranzi, unless we can now be synthetic, you want her to look good. Get her made up. Upgrade yeah. her. Get her eyebrows mm. threaded, mutengere ma Brazilian acho, but yet you still have that mukadzi anechi anechi value chekuti kana sadzaru no monwa. Mazvano ya tongo baby to order pizza. Like, like, oh, you should cook, babe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, tongo, you know, you know. That one, like, 2,000 likes with my babe, then that's all right. So, yeah. it's misplaced on priorities and, uh, for guys, especially our entertainers, I'm sure they are all looking for that perfect picture and maybe not looking deeper to say, will I be able to spend the rest of my life with this person? Are we compatible and stuff? So that is a yeah. sad story. And I'm with you. Such, and such, such, such a criteria, not, criteria is if they look good on Instagram. That's the first thing. Not about a woman's um, values. Is she educated? You know, little things like that. I think they should still matter. But But this is why we are finding that uh, a lot of these younger relationships are not lasting. And there's a lot of drama and a lot of rumors that come from it. And there's a lot of, of chaos in Enge Iriko because we are looking for the wrong things in the wrong people. And uh, on the Mudiwa one, just in closing, um, Angelica, I think airports are open now. You need to come back home, uh, be in quarantine for two weeks, and then, you know, take care of your baby if you want to fly back with him since you're no longer together. I think as a mom, um, yeah, that only makes yeah, yeah, you know, now. everything else. Listen, men come and go. That that's a fact. Yeah. But our kids are very, very important, you know. So before you even listen to a story, the first thing was Agasiamana. You know? Yeah. You, you know, I'm thinking, how do you even defend? Because my questions were, did she suffer postnatal depression? Was she was she okay when she had the baby? Anima attachment issues was sent out of from a psychological point of view. But she needs to be with her child and being with her child also. And maybe, you know, the fact that she's away from her from her son could also be a contributing factor to the anger 
that she's been showing the last couple of days. Because, you know, when you've got a little person to hug you or to kiss them at night, she's not better to stress it again, Bichan. You know? That's true, man. Yeah, that is true. true. So, so uh, joining us, it is one o'clock. It's uh, me, Chicken, DK, and Nyari. <laughs> I won't remember all of this. You need to speak with Nyari every Thursday, Monday to, to the other days. So I'm all in. <laughs> I know. The other tea. What are the streets saying? Word on the street. Who's Takura's new bay? Because the dude cannot just give us an angle. What are we supposed to do with the hair? Like, Give us something to talk about. Or maybe like he's doing a small reveal party with this week, but with it's a good in a back view. Then next week, no, but with it's ma ma my lips or something. Maybe what it's a kind slow is this? Then next week, talk with it's a watoga. Now, and I've never known Takura to date anybody. I've never seen him in a relationship, whether he's been and it's been private, God knows. But it's Takura, baby. <laughs> and I hope, like, I hope it's not for a video as well. I oh. hope it's not for a video. And like, nobody the message also, like, was, a, was a bit sentimental, though. He's like, I was having a rough day. Then she decided to come and pick me up and take me to the to the Ningini to the for a picnic. Chi chi chi. I'm on quarantine. Muno. So I don't want to see you. Diani, I need food. Ringeri brownie. Ringeri the black. Because now people are making assumptions that what's the door leader that was put in there? Because the moment it's Chacha. So names. Makara de ese arku arku. They're on a hit list and they're just running them. I don't know. This is people. I'm saying, I think I got to get it up. But Mark would you feel that? But Mark would you, you know? So, yeah, we're, but in, we're investigating. Or maybe, maybe the girl was like, You need to post me. And um, he had to defend himself and say, Okay, I will just post, like, you know, and not reveal your face because I'm a public figure. I don't want to. No, the okay. main excuses that I make, but she's not going to cheat out. But the relationship in Nigam Bushka Peter say, When you say, You have to post me. My trust issues, you have to post me. I think so. Why, why does the, the little reveal party and to just like, you know, do my subliminals and stuff? So or maybe, maybe. Or maybe he's just, you know, so, so head over heels in love with his girl and he wants people to know that he's in love, but he just doesn't want to put a into public scrutiny for her to be discussed on shows like this maybe he's being protective <laughs> of her i hope yeah maybe I he's just head over heels in love with her but hey i mean i, I could date an artist my one <laughs> my one like with is the problem does it come with the groupies or just a person not being able to stand their ground and to give in to temptation are they weak? All of it. They come with groupies. They are my groupies. I'm not going to get my hi, my hey. Uh, I've in my past two relationships where I've dated musicians, I've seen pictures of girls sending themselves. Man, to be my pictures. I've of what? Dance in the cafe and now Linda night chocolate. Like, why are you asking my man if you look like me? <laughs> you know. So yeah, they are groupies. And at the same time, oh, I think oh, it kind of gets to their head when they've got all these females in their inboxes and sometimes they struggle to handle it. Like, they, they don't know when to sift from the riffraff and, and you know, keep a good thing going. So, Mawan, ah, Mawan. I think we need to commend one artist who has been able to, um, to keep it inside and maybe not show us that side of him. If he does it, then he, it must be like so secretive. Uh, Winky D, we, we know nothing. We know nothing about his actual wife, even, or any groupie sort of thing that he does. He's been yeah. able to. XQ, XQ is another one. XQ is very, 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 very. I am friends with XQ and his wife, and there's no drama from that camp. There's no issues. There's no. You, you don't hear these stories. XQ is another one. Just I, think I, I, I think I had a little something about it sometimes. I, I would not. 
man omnye pera no no not excuse man omnye pera excuse a family man when we say i don't know for example when we go malir something ah na kamu zwa got something is someone but then maybe it's just speculation as well um so you say winky i say winky do you say excuse which other artists that we don't know any of their crazy stories about women like male artists um hmm the thing is because i'm also in those circles i'm connected to a lot of people i know a lot of tea like really mm -hmm. hot scorching teas i know artists who've had um small houses pregnant to about 8 months and then somebody loses the baby just out of the blue like big names like i there's a lot of tea that i know but yeah so it's kind of hard to come up with names and say we are kachena because the the industry is one big the industry is one big og let me put it that way it's crazy though it's it's it's, it's really crazy yeah yeah it's there's still a very few that are still have very good standing characters and all that mudiwa so, mudiwa i've never i've never heard mudiwa dating anybody until he dated uh angelica before that i've never <laughs> heard or maybe i'm just dating another colored chick as well i don't know her name but then that's the one i knew uh okay. outside of that i've not heard yeah. any story of him uh, yeah. besides and coming out and saying uh guns blazing and saying oh he cheated and is a dead big dead so um also, yeah so but but with that it makes you then wonder could how come all these other years we never heard anything to do with any of his dramas pane vamwe vanhu vengoti tikangodzwanyadza kuti patanga imba ndo hunu wavo amuva zivi pane vanhu tokadza rando hunu wavo you know so yeah So that's that's basically it. The the other tea that was on this on the streets, and I'm just gonna keep it light. Is the whole passion and his his brother um, drama. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. I, I I've got two words. I've got two words for that issue. That man is yeah. a spoiled brat. Spoiled brat is all that comes to me. He's a grown man that's going on social media. trying to get money left right and center and what not muna no shanda the guy has got nine baby mamas the guy has got you know and, the, and it seems as if clearly from what is being said the family waka mu spoon feeder way too much and now this and is a result exactly. yeah if this is a result of them spoon feeding this grown ass man to, to to be behaving this way where where he needs to get a job and just you know The best thing so that I, they could do, the best thing that Panganai can do for his brother is either getting him a you know the chi you could check what the nip and tuck down there. Vasectomy to stop having that, babies because at yeah. 38 who has nine baby mamas. That's crazy man. That um, I remember when the video was posted yesterday I was just checking out the comments across all social media platforms and people were sympathizing with him like uh, sympathizing huh? with the 38 year old man who's saying like I want a ticket I just want to go home to mom that like, now that one mom mom? Like, yeah he wants to go back up to his mom <laughs> that's a thousand year old teenager like when they kuna mama and you want to pay ticket then they kuna mama then sometimes as the mom we are not getting it without you know, like story this evening this this is this is how desperate this guy is for attention right he's been yeah. on uh, auntie jenny's lounge he's been uh kwana kwana meli he's been kwa edith chibamu he's he's literally all over every platform on social media that guy needs to find a job application passion just needs to buy him a condom to that's the only thing that he needs to I'm serious <laughs> because who has nine baby mamas at at 38 Apo he's so still like, going when I was watching the video I was almost like oh maybe they should just get him a ticket but then after hearing the back story especially for from a someone from someone who's upstanding like a postal uh java of a prophet passions brother saying that chaka kutumira ticket aka ukati andawana basa cha uye So I think he just wants money in March they gave him like 10,000 against so 
they have been enabling him as well as a family. They gave him 10, and, and that, now now he wants a GoFundMe from the public. Like seriously, who's got time and money? They need to take that money to Chinyaradzu children's so almost something than funding a grown man to be Gafa Cape Town Koko all the way back to Nigini to Harare if it's that important for him because nobody is going to be paying for those bills. Nobody's going to be footing for a bus ticket or flight ticket. Listen, as a, as, a, as a member of your family, why should passion be the one yeah. to pick up your bills? Let's just say, you know, for argument's sake, passion are with a fraud. Passion America right? Let's just say. And he's there feeding his brother and doing whatever with his brother. Passion He's gonna go to jail on his own and he's not going to be taking his brother with him and say, Listen, I used to spend this money with my brother. No. Yeah. So why should the brother benefit from someone else's either hard work or or anything to do with someone else? Yet you're a grown ass man with two hands. He's got and no I'm disability. Saying, yeah. The fact that they have helped him before, okay, does not want them to help him again. They did a noble thing by helping him, trying to um, help him in his building up process and stuff. He actually, he has an actual issue, like a... Uh, uh, my, my like, I told him a problem, Chayoche. But I also want to know... Yeah. Yeah. first time around it's a mistake second time third time we give up so the people that are the actual problem in this whole situation as much as they say love should lead sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind right mm -hmm. the family just needs to cut him off completely that is the only way he is going to learn to see to, you know what if I don't work I will not have food in my mouth. If I don't work, I'm not going to have clothes on my back. If I don't work, I've got nine baby mothers claiming child so, support. But I, I also want to know from you, I had a distant aunt who was an, um, who had like a problem with alcohol, uh, alcoholism, okay? And the family would en enable her, give her money, and then they decided, well, I know we're not going to help her no more. Eventually, um, sadly, she died. But I want to know, like, as a family, how do you help a person with actual issues? You don't contribute to their demise or to their death. How, how best can you help? How can you help as a family member? Like, well, it's, it's a case of identifying if he has any of those problems. Is he an alcoholic? take him to rehab is he a multiple drug user take him to rehab is he a womanizer then get him castrated if that's what it takes you know i don't know these are just things that you're able to put into place but if he does not have any of those problems and these are all self-inflicted or self-created problems cut him off he needs to grow up he needs yeah. to grow up and fix himself and take care of himself and take care of his children I watched a video by um, his his other older brother. Sorry if I get the name mixed up. Vajitara, we love you. Um, we need you to come home. Kanawawi Akumba, Tona Kutitigabatsire, say the women that you you gave babies to. And I'm thinking, okay, so this guy, Ayenda Kano Numburi Savakazi 9, Akazwari Savakazi 9. And you guys want to go pay maintenance for him as well. Imagine that, that well, right, I, I understand the mentality of, I, I the, of, 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 the, of the kids, which they cannot suffer for their father's sins. So, so maybe how the does this guy learn? How does this guy learn if you guys keep on paying for his bills? If you keep on make paying for his mistakes, how will this guy learn? How will he take responsibility? Because there's nothing to be responsible for, everybody else is taking responsibility for him. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so I get that. But how if you have taken care of every little issue for him? I think I think because they have all accepted that maybe he's a dead dead and he's a failed man. So now they have to take the guy in the video, Apostle Jawa is saying to uh, help in another way. 
by helping your children. Ah, inini gaba protongo te gaba to ibo ka apostle Java vachoka gaba to ngoda idzana baby mother. Vova uza tinga tinde kuna fourth uko kuno claim wa maintenance. Andi tiga mess the monesa monesa complaint here you because in terms of the way kuto kasa better maintenance when it's kwa kujen. So he needs to fix up. Gaba mende se kukot. Kuto utara tita kuto but the ma ma baby mother zako ma lawyer. Ekutwa claim maintenance kuva kwa uri weo. Ukasa badala maintenance. Asi asi. Oo kuto aina kuno chaga basa. Oze nda kuna judge. Ono rakiza judge kuto kuto tambera two hundred. But two hundred divide iwa na wangu nine. Wano ana ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars. Stop spoon feeding. You're spoiling this man. You're spoiling him, and soon he's gonna be forty, and then he's gonna be forty-five. Aru garamba mama i wani tu aru kubadaru ama biuzi aru kuchinge tu wana wake in life yake ndi no idani. It's not an irresponsible ndi no idani. Yangu ticha kwa chete ndi chungu fara kutendre kani nyika chete and you don't take responsibility. And today na kuna mama. That's how I'm like. 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 Nine baby mamas, about two dollars of Timana. When I mean nine baby mamas, Mama, would you do you get it? <laughs> so maybe, that's maybe he's place. got maybe he's got mommy issues, maybe he's got I don't know. We need a psychologist for this to come and psychoanalyze him. Maybe next week we find a psychologist to try and a behavioral specialist that can explain to us why he behaves in such a manner because he is a grown teenager as far as i am concerned and he keeps getting away with things because people are allowing him allowing him to get away with it i think sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind just cut him off and let him deal with his own problems it's a crazy story and uh, everyone was you know looking out to see like how he's developing but, but at, the, really at the same time though nigini can yeah. tell me this those women that are especially number 7 number 6 number 7 and number 8 are uh, Six, yeah. seven, eight, nine. The last four, right? How are they having babies with a man that has got five, has got at least a minimum of five kids with five other other women? I mean, not one one can two two three three. How many kids does he have all in all? I don't know the actual number of kids, but then sometimes men lie. So maybe he would have lied to the women. Um, just seeing like his pattern of life, I think is the kind to lie. But then if not, maybe the women have actual daddy issues as well. Like, I don't want to moon, I don't want to and stuff. And so, so, tell me, so, so tell me this. Do we now blame women? Why do we have to live in Masurug? No, no, no. I think there are actual men who are butchering women's hearts and lying. So, so we live in, we live in Masurug, we are on, on, we are on, we are on, we because they're doing a community service to avoid issues like this. I'm going to post them on I need the uh, I neither uh, uh, deny or <laughs> that. Yes. Now, what kind of stories are in there? I'm going to say, give me like one extreme story that you well, have seen. From what I heard, you know, you just go into the group. We'll post a picture and face walk of Uncle Funzo. Sudden that you give up and I'll go away in the moon. Hey, you know, <laughs> to all confirm my mom could add a clean air and I could see Tawanda. Toss about the duty time. Rota at your roof from Squad say, In into a Monday, Tuesday, day or Wednesday, Thursday, can I could see, you know, the and yeah, um, there have been quite a few interesting stories. People's yeah. the, the sad thing is just imagine waking up sha. What wanna what wanna baba kiri sends ya vari muguru muga guys ko picture chinzi is this anyone's bay? Aba muneva na five per day. It's yeah. It's like a woman wakes up and then they fight with that their husband. They're there, but they've also been on the bad side. There have also been some fake posts where people just want to tarnish somebody's name and just say with mm -hmm. ghost accounts. One way is a picture of like somebody would just decide, do we a picture of Olinda Bafunza Kuti Inonzichi? Um, is anybody in a relationship with Olinda? But yeah, it's it's a ghost account. But yeah, Munatina had no nakiza nakiza have a kazi twenty twenty vajamuk. And that's good year once again at Skuda. It's like a kutorneka club. If men didn't know this, kutorne club ye kutiga a Unoko nongo muka picture kwa 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 mwana chuko funza kutimfesu imuno mzero. Shakira ikuno. 
if you're a John Tucker, be on the lookout, please. Yeah. But then again, you know what? It works well if you um if Jeshua Muno Aneka Udojin Meskana Kukari Puke Kuti, you know, um his in this woman's inbox, that woman's inbox, like Nyaya trust here, Makasu Nyaya trust, trust was all over social media. But what if your guy well, is I'm gonna use it? Well, I was trust to work on who you care you and gonna suit a penya penya so. What was he doing? Ah, baga post ko ku mashuru go kwa no nitsa trust ye trust ma one. But yeah, so tell me this. What what then happens? Uh Munuaku can ari bo bo ari genuine and you know ari clean ana mama girlfriend ana chi yo wan posta mu v eleven. Do you think that relationship is gonna go ahead or shut over? I think it's the end of it. I think you uh, making the move to post is you saying that you're, you're throwing in the towel and you're done. Because you would not want to reveal, like, you know, and uh, paint that person that you're going to be with. But then women do that. And then the next thing they're with them. So with women, it's both ways. Sometimes they'll be thinking it's working to their advantage. It's a huge risk. It's a huge risk. It's a huge risk. It's a huge risk. Crazy, it is. And in Dr. Kando, I'm going to be more busy. Don't make sure the monarch clean one. And then I'm going to sag. Sag. The minute you hit my inbox, when I send you to zero, ah, John, I pin the inbox to you. Now to tell you, the share we want the inbox, mango, and this is a full stopper. I'm joking. So, so yeah, that's been that's been the thing. Because I know. I could tell. But I want to know, uh, did you watch that Amumba Iwe yesterday, last night, and whose performance did you enjoy? No, I didn't watch Garamumba. And the reason why, I'm a little biased because I am the resident host for Chabvondoka UK. So mm. we've been running a lot behind the scenes in regards to that as we've got some of the tea you guys have not seen Ivy Combo in a long time very very long time you last saw ivy combo so that's tea for another day but yeah she's she's performing garam um chabondoka uk this coming saturday and that woman is amazing drama ah just her performance she killed it so yeah ivy oh. ivy is based here in the united kingdom i didn't even know this until recently she's but based I She's got a new album and all that. Um, and a little known fact that I didn't even know, Ivy has done her LLB in law. She's done her, her master's and she's now doing her PhD in law. So I'm totally very, very educated. She's a very smart woman. And um, that's another side of things that people don't get to see. So maybe... Uh, but so, yeah. I, do you think that people will ever forget like her story? And uh, separate him from that whole scandal. Do you think that's possible? I think so. I think so because mm -hmm. listen, they have made their marriage work. Their marriage has has lasted. They're happy. They're in a good place. Who are we to stand between true love? Can I get a love? The problem is that when marriages are broken down or they fall apart, it's, it's, it kind of reminds me of my situation with... Um, or you might the 40 year old teenager is you can't break my heart and then you guys motambisa nguva two years three years mark teta my problem mark with you know you're you're breaking up your relationship ayawaga no if you're gonna break my marriage you better make sure that you guys are in love and you stay together forever so well I, this is a litmus test that maybe it was true love it, it, it was true love because from speaking to her, she's in a great space. She loves being a wife. She loves being a mother to her five kids. She still enjoys the music. Their ministry is is growing strong and and whatnot. So can I get a love with Chokwadi? Anzi, um, Anzi, moyo mutu no meraji. Paunoda. Exactly. So and the chinon zire gets and the chiri mawo koko eta chiri bye. Yeah, you, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you, you so, can't tell people to stop feeling a certain type of way as much as we might get angry about it. But yeah, she's in a great space. So see her for the first time this coming weekend. Are we going to oh, yeah. find you as well? Uh, and, and the, the meantime, and, 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 and that's another thing. That's another thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw like my shorts. I don't know if I'm going to be a pyjama. Hey, my nandi. Hey, chigaga. 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 Hey, Make up on point, be on point, chi chi chi. This is a rango It's all together because ah, yeah, can show it's where I got Do you know what had actually happened on that day? The reason why yeah. I ended up filming in um, in in my driving clothes. I call them my driving clothes because I was driving in an hour and a half to where the studio was. Um, okay. As soon as I got to the studio, I got a call that my my middle child, Jaden, had had ano, anytime my allergies. Jaden, I don't know what i mosquito. I know Jimba Midwese. If you have nuts and you touch him, I'm going to like anima manats he gets a really bad allergic reaction so as soon as i got to the studio nakavanda phone ra nababu wake zvikanzi mwana kuenda ku hospital he's had um, an allergic reaction and he cannot breathe saka ndakangova kuti listen guys i have to go but since ndauya let's just do my bits ndibude ndite say ndiende so i never got a chance to change or anything and akaswera ndi chingoti taurwa odzika shorts kwa akumba ke like the hills I thought it was hot. I thought it was hot. I genuinely did. Maybe so don't people look don't fun. understand what they can't do. Don't what they can't on Saturday to find out like what you'll be wearing. But one last one. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe we'll be able to answer, but maybe you can find out for us. Where is Stana? It's been off the radar uh, ever since that accusation or allegation has been off the radar. So what you can do for us, if you don't want to answer, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. to just find out where art thou Stana? Where is he? Is he genuinely not feeling well? So that next week you come back to tell him. I, I, it's it's a sensitive issue, and you know mm. when things come out of my mouth, they're coated in a different type of way. But all I can say is, you know, people need to keep him in his prayer, uh, keep him in their prayers. Mm. They just need okay. to pray for him. Yeah, they just need to oh, pray for him. Good. Yeah, I, Seth, I, I, but yeah, they just need to pray for him. And that's it. Those are the stories on uh, on on the streets so far. So we are about to go watch episode seven of the Java family drama. Yes. <laughs> and we can discuss yeah. it a whole lot more next week um, and whatnot. Yeah. So this has been so good. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Star FM page, to Zimbabwe social media news page. Stuart Nyamayaro, major love to you. Thank you so much. And Nyari, wait up, Osha. Move on, my viewers. Good dancing. Gavasa, so you need to all see Chi 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 Makua. I know it is Makua. Nyari is the one that's only available for an hour. Huh? Why so to Linda? Why so to Nyari? It's a chapa chinja. It was a technical error. And it is Makua. I need to remember no mat. Mara, I should do Makua. Thank you so much for Thank you so much for having me and uh, we'll catch up next week. Thank you. This has been Wine O'Clock. Uh, is your glass empty? It's almost done. You know, colors shots because I was doing a whole lot of talking. I'm one of those that in the game out I will not be tipsy. I will not be drunk because I'm the one that talks the most. So even when I was in primary school, I remember grade seven. Uh, Tichita volleyball. Yeah, but Tichita volleyball, grade seven. My coach named me storyteller. Anza, unota orizeo. Storyteller from now on. <laughs> so, so yeah. So now I have to finish my glass in in silence. 
Thank you so much for making time. Thank Let you. me keep you at 8 p.m. on the dot. And uh, Zimbabwe, thank you so much for watching. This has been a one o'clock. Proudly brought to you by 1202 Herbal Solutions. I am V Candy, Madla Mini Chikendi You can catch me on Star FM Radio every Monday to Thursday from 6.30 p.m. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, guys. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, Olinda. Hello. Hi. Hello. I think I'm on.